Number 39. We want to take log base 9, x minus 2, minus log base 9. This will, if you subtract, you remember you can condense it with division. So log base 9 of x minus 2 over x minus 4 equals 1. Well, remember how these logarithms work. 9 to the first power equals this right here. So this right here is equal to 9 to the first power. Which is just 9. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat this like as a proportion. 9 over 1 equals, so I'm going to cross multiply now. So x minus 2 times 1 equals 9 times this guy right here would be 9x minus uh, 36. And let's see, I subtract off my 9x, negative 8x, and add off my 2, divide by 8, negative 8 that is, and get x equals 34 eighths, which should be 17 fourths. something or another. Oh, it'd be 4.25. Duh. It's a positive 4.25, so I don't have to worry about uh, negatives. So, 4.25. Next question. Number thirty, uh, number forty is going to be similar to that. And I'm going to put these logs together here with multiplication. So it's log base seven, x minus five times x plus two equals log base seven of x minus one. Since these are the same logs, you can just cancel them off. I'm going to multiply this out. x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals x minus 1. So let's multiply that out to get here. Move these over. Because I want to get a 0 over here, so I'm going to solve this quadratic. And we can't factor that out. So I have to jump into my quadratic formula. Negative b, negative negative 4, plus minus. I always, I'd never put a, a negative here when I square it. It just throws me off. So 4 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 9. So you're probably saying, you forgot the negative. Well, I don't have to worry about it. I'm squaring it. It's always positive. 4 plus minus 36 plus 16. Yeah, 36 and 16 would be 40, 52 over 2. E, let's see. We actually want numbers for this, for the actual question. So I'm going to figure out what the square root of 52 is. 7.2 1 on 1 I'll just take it to 4 spots divided by 2 now check this out, so let's see if I take 4 minus 7.2 1, 1, 1, 1 do I get negative 3.21 well, if I go back up here negative 3 is going to kill, make this negative and I can't take a logarithm, I can't take a, a power of 7 to get a negative answer. So that can't be a, an answer to our question. And same way over here, if I put a negative in, it's not going to work. But if I add now, 4 plus 7.22, uh, even if, and, oh, I forgot. My answer, I'm supposed to divide it by 2, but I'm still going to have a negative number. And I can't put a negative number minus 1. 
or a negative number minus 5, I get a positive answer. So that's, that kills off the negative answer. But I could possibly use the positive. 4 plus 7, that's 11.2111. So 11, penny to 2, 111, divided by 2. 5.6, And let's see if that would work. I can subtract 1 away from 5. I can actually take 5.6 minus 5 and still get a positive answer here. So this is okay. This answer is good. So we can use this answer here. Let's make sure we round to the nearest four decimal places. So I, I'm going to round to 5.6056. Number 41. So let's look at it. 2 e to the negative 3x plus 5 equals 30. So first off, I want to get rid of that 2. So divide everything by 2. Got to get rid of the e with an L in. Natural log gets rid of it, but you got to do it to both sides. So negative 3x plus 5 equals a natural log of 15. Subtract off 5. Divide by negative 3. You get your x by itself. So this is the exact answer, and if we plug that into the calculator, we should get uh, the answer in the answer key. And I'll let you try to find that.